Dad has three. So I know Jake had kind of his uh, way of doing it. Cameron had his. Um, mine, I took a, I just, I'm about diversity. I'm about <laughs> inclusiveness. If there's one thing I know about you, it's that you love <laughs> diversity and inclusiveness. <laughs> so I just said, all right, I'm going to set these up by eras, right? So I have somebody representing the ancient world, the classical world, the medieval world, and the, mo- and the modern world. And then I have a, I have a fifth person who fits. Um... So I'll just start with the ancient world. Um, I kind of went and I had a few in mind. The one person that came to mind initially, I had to, I had to take, I had to take off the table. Um, not Goliath, not Shamgar, not Samson. I'm going with Ehud. Ehud's going to be yes! five. So Ehud uh, is a biblical judge of ancient Israel, um, and he's the judge who slays the Moabite king. Uh, What's his name? Eglon. Eglon. And so he does it kind of through deception, right? He conceals his sword that he made, right? He made this double-edged sword that's meant for piercing. Uh, And since he's left-handed, he put it on his right thigh. So nobody checked for it, right? Um, Security has changed over the years. But he ends up going up to King Eglon and he's like, yeah, I have a message for you from God. And then shoves the sword into Eglon up to the hilt into his stomach. Apparently the king was really fat. So Well, and the Bible is very clear on that. King Eglon was a very fat man. That's literally the verse. Yeah, yeah. So, so I think what's great about Ehud's story is he's, first of all, he has this sleight of hand. So he gets in because he's going to manage to sneak a weapon into the, the bar. So, sorry, I break, I break one of the rules right off the bat. But then he also says, hey, I've got a message from you, from God. And that's, he shoves that sword all the way up to the hilt. And then he leaves and he sneaks out. So I just think that kind of... And I think he says like, hey, don't disturb the king. He's sleeping yeah, or he's, something he's like that. Yeah, he's going to the bathroom. Yeah. He'll be a while. Um, <laughs> and, and, you know, the guards come in. Anyways, basically he slays King Eglon. And then there's like 80 years of peace after that. So I think Ehud is, is a good fit. Any of the ju- Half the judges are great in a bar fight, I think. Um, Shamgar would have been great because he would have picked up whatever's around him and killed 600 people but Ehud gets it just I like the sleight of hand I like the concealed and carry so I like it I like it well I've always liked Ehud he's always been my favorite judge and I love that you're going biblical right out of the gate Old Testament biblical that's good initially I had Goliath and I know he's not a fan favorite because he's what I wish the Lakers were in that they lost to, you know, the, the David Miami Heat. But I don't know. I don't really want Goliath on my team. So, anyways, 